Gung Hei Fat Choi. That which means, means Happy New Year in Chinese. That's one way to ring in the Chinese New Year. Mary Liz Curtin is the owner of the show at Leon and Lulu in Clawson. It's a cafe slash furniture decor store, and they host many workshops, including one with Dennis Fairchild, a feng shui expert. He's been doing astrology and uh, all sorts of Chinese magic for many, many years. So he really knows about feng shui, Chinese astrology, the Chinese New Year. This year is the year of the rooster. And the rooster is the big deal in the barnyard. He's loud, he's proud. So how can you celebrate in your home and in your life to bring good fortune? So it's a great year to bring in pictures of that big, strong rooster into your house. It's a great year to add um, fish. Goldfish are fabulous in the house and very, very lucky. Mary Liz also says to spruce up three areas of your home, the kitchen, main entry and garden. That includes bringing the outdoors in. Bring in a lot of flowers, bring in fresh plants, even faux flowers. All of that will really add to your success in the year of the rooster. And to feng shui your life in the year of the rooster, Mary Liz suggests hard work will pay off, love gets flirtatious, care more about your appearance, and have a better morning ritual. It's a great year to start nicer, calmer morning traditions, perhaps a cup of tea and a pretty mug. We expect to see people who work hard who will see success in 2017. And look, I'm ringing in the year of the rooster with a great morning ritual with tea. Now, if you want tips, you have to attend the workshop, which is at 6 o'clock. And we have details on our website at WXYZ.com. In Clausen, Simon Chowdhury for the Now Detroit. And I'm told the